welcome back to sv learnings almost all the muslim rulers were fond of laying beautiful gardens and the art of gardening an innumerable number of gardens were planted by the muslim rulers of india the muslim rulers of india made many gardens and provide means of irrigation imported fruits and flowers from far off lands and enriched india with a great variety of mangoes jackfruit tamarind etc a large number of fruit plants like dates apple lemon orange grapes etc were imported by the muslim rulers of india as per records the first muslim monarch who planted gardens was alauddin muhammad khilji He laid out 30 gardens in Delhi, 80 in Salora and 44 in Chittor. He imported 7 varieties of white and black grape wine from abroad. Sultan Zain ul Abdin of Kashmir had a garden of 518 hectares. He also made many gardens which make Kashmir a paradise on earth. Sultan Mahmud Shah had a large number of gardens planted in Gujarat. He gave cash awards to all those who laid out formal gardens or even planted a single fruit tree. One of the main pleasure garden laid out by Mahmud Shah was named by him as Firadas, which covered an area of 8 km in length and 1.5 km in breadth. It had a 100,000 fruit trees. Imaduddin Mahmud Gilani, a minister of the Bahmani kings, laid out a delightful garden in Ahmedabad in which good quality saffron was grown with other imported varieties of fruits and flowers. Earliest garden to be laid out was at Kalugahi near Delhi. This garden was further extended by Jalaluddin. Firoz Tughlaq is also said to have laid not less than 200 gardens in and around Delhi. In Ahmedabad a beautiful garden was laid out in the island at the center of the Kankaria Lake which is popularly known as Bag Nagina or Jewel Garden This garden was the favorite resort of sultans and nobles of House Ai Qutb The art of gardening received special attention during the time of Mughal period Whenever the Mughal rulers got any leisure period from political activities they devoted their time to lay out extensive ornamental gardens babar the founder of mughal empire is a great lover of trees and flowers after the victory over ibrahim lodi in 1526 at panipat babar laid out a large garden at panipat after that he also laid down gardens at agra on the pattern of samarkand khara and fargana the ram bag and the sohra bag at agra were designed on their pattern in the earlier period of the mughal rule in india another important garden was laid down baradari of misra cameron at lahore when kashmir was added by akbar to the mughal empire he was much impressed with the climate and nature of kashmir there he laid out nasim bag on the west of dal lake which is considered to be a garden of beauty and joy for ever Great Mughal gardens are heavily influenced by Islamic beliefs such as Quranic verse gardens underneath rivers flow is well portrayed in Charba garden Mughal gardens were well explained in my previous video please watch them your comments are my motive hope you like this video like and share subscribe for more videos thank you